Hello everyone and welcome. You're watching an Aries screencast. Today's topic is viewing Alexa log C files in Media Composer 8.1. When shooting with the Alexa ProRes files, the log C color space is a common recording format. Viewing the recorded shots by using the standard QuickTime player, you get a very flat and desaturated image. Well, that's because log C is a recording format designed to hold as much information and dynamic range from the camera image as possible. Let's open up Media Composer 8.1 and link the clip with the AMA QuickTime plugin into the Avid bin. As you can see, the clip actually appears not flat and desaturated anymore. The log C image is shown automatically with the color space transformation to Rec 709 in the Avid source monitor. To view the image in log C, I have to change the color encoding of the clip. I select the clip in the Avid bin, right click, choose Source Settings, and select Color Encoding tab. In the Source Color Space settings is Airy Alexa Log C detected, and the Color Transformation Lookup table Airy Alexa Log C to Rec 709 is already applied. When I click the checkbox bypass all color transformation, the clip appears flat again. If you want to see which color transformation lookup table is applied to the clips, go to the bin menu, choose columns, and select the color transformations column. The bin column is showing the activated transformation lookup table. I go to AMA link, choose the Airy Alexa MXF plugin, and select one MXF DNX HD 444 clip. Again, the image appears in color space Rec 709. Same lookup table, same color processing for DNX HD clips. The simplest way to start editing is with original linked AMA clips, but for storage and performance reasons, it is useful to consolidate or transcode the clips. Now I will transcode the clips with a higher compression. When the checkbox Apply Color Transformation Compatibility Mode is ticked, the lookup table will be burned in. When it is not ticked, the lookup table is applied as metadata. Now I transcode clips in DNX HD 36 in a non destructive mode and create a sequence. The transformation lookup table, log C or video rec 709, is just applied as metadata. I open the color management settings, click Install LUT and import an external lookup table. When the lookup table is successfully installed, a window appears. Click the drop down menu and select a new color transformation lookup table from the list. Delete the default Alexa Log C to Rec 709 LUT. To activate the new lookup table, click Add and with Apply to All, the new look will be applied to all selected clips. We can see the clip in the source monitor is already updated to the new tobacco look, but the sequence is still in default Alexa Video Rec 709. Select the Edit Sequence in the bin, right click and go to Refresh Sequence and choose Color Adapters in the drop down menu. The look of the sequence is updated and shown in the Recorder Monitor.
Now I will import an ALE file for one clip with CDL grading. First I have to select the clip and go to import and select the desired ALE file. After the import, the bin column ASC SAT shows the saturation value, which in our case is zero for a totally desaturated image. And the default values for slope, offset and power are also displayed. To combine the CDL grading with the Area Lexa Log C2 Rec709 lookup table, we have to open the source settings and activate the CDL grading for the color transformation. Click Add and rearrange the color processing chain. The CDL grading should be under the lookup table. The correct order is Log C image, then CDL grading and on top a 3D lookup table. The image is now black and white because of no saturation. The complete color processing is also shown in the Avid bin column color transformation. You see there are a lot of combinations possible but always very straightforward. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.